Hello everyone, we are going to go through Movies by Alien Ant Farm. Um, I've seen a couple people on YouTube do it, and uh, it's, for the most part it's pretty correct. Uh, there's some things here and there in the verses that aren't quite right, um, and I'm going to show you the actual way to play it. So, Movies is in E major, and um, it starts off with what we call the Pac-Man riff, which is Terry going so what I do is I will hold out for a couple measures and then when I jump in I'm basically just doing a descending chromatic line with with uh, the rhythm okay so where I'm ending up at and where is the main riff of the whole song is um, I play B, uh, D sharp, B, E. So, on the uh, the in my case it's the fourth string, but um, if you're playing a fourth string, yeah, I guess it's still the fourth string. But if you're playing a sixth string, it's the fifth string. So, um, what we got here is that. So what I got going on there, uh, I'm hitting the B to the D sharp, back to the B, to the E. Um, once again, I try to keep a uh, conservative hand positioning, uh, playing whatsoever, move the least amount as possible that you can. Um, and I, I usually play this song it, it really depends. Um, I always hit the same notes, but sometimes I'll I'll do it with these three, the three fingers, and sometimes I do it with just the ring finger. The ring finger is probably the cooler way to do it because it's uh, it's ultra conservative as far as your uh, energy and and playing with your left hand. So you got um, you got. Playing the B to the D sharp, back to the B to the E. Um, the only thing I do in the verses that's, or in the first verse that's different, is that I follow Mike's kick drum pattern. I accent his uh, that with a uh, with an open E. So that's all I'm doing. It's just hitting the open E. So um, coming off of the verse. Going into the chorus, do another slide chromatic thing again. I do them all over the place, and it happens in this song. That's it. That's I, I can't make any more excuses for myself, except for that I just play those things all the time. So, anyways, A, G sharp, F sharp, A. Right there, that's a C. It's not in the key, unless it's 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 more of a. Um, the C is more of a uh, tension. So I'm using it so I can set up the E so it sounds kind of like a, I don't know, like a breath of fresh air. Like it just opens up, it kind of just holds you there really nicely. Pins you up, lets you go, and makes you feel like you're floating. So that's the effect of that tension chord. Um, I, uh, I'm not sure exactly what Terry's playing it. So that's that's essentially what happened. He's kind of like floating on that that uh, D sharp E. And I'm, and I go up to the C. Not a big deal. It's just a you know, it's a it's a sharp nine. It's a flat three. It gets a little minor for one second, and then opens up on the E. So G sharp, F sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, A to the C to the E, and then I go to the G sharp. And um, let's play that again. And then at the end. Oh, the end of the chorus. I do a A major chord using two notes, A and C sharp. C sharp is on the G string. 
the A is on the, in my case, it's the fourth string. Then I'm back to the verse again. Do the same accents with Mike again. Do my... Now, this is the... This B... I guess you would say it's the... The B of verse 2. So, it's the second half of verse 2. It also shows up in the bridge. And we'll get to that in a second. But let me show you around the second part of the verse. It's a 16th note pattern and it's straight 16th all the way through the whole thing. So, so what we got here is we got a C sharp, then we got E, then B, then back up to C sharp to A, uh, sorry, to G sharp, A, B, and then E. Then chorus, A, G sharp, actually I think the pattern, So the first time I went straight to the A, uh, the A major. The second time I turned it around with the A, G sharp, F sharp, then up to the A major. A, G sharp, A, does it twice. Actually it goes to the G sharp then, the same part I just showed you. Then it goes, but instead of 16th notes, it's doing an eighth note pattern. But same thing, C sharp, E, B, C sharp, and G sharp, A, B, E. Last time, I just hold on the C sharp. Slide. Back into the chorus. The last time, Terry and I really lock on it. So what's going on there at the end, I actually did this little, or uh, whatever. Right? I do it live and I just... That's not what I play. That's what I do. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't do that on the record. Uh, but I play it like that. I do that a lot live just to, I don't know, just to kind of sound fancy. I also do a... I also do stupid stuff like that like too. But that's not on the recording. We'll get back to the recording. Uh, uh, so this part where for it goes from the A major. So the first part of that, the A major, you got the C sharp, the C sharp to the B, to the G sharp, to the E. So it basically outlines a uh, an E major chord from uh, the sixth. And then this is the same like thing, but instead of starting from the, uh, I start from the second, second to the third, to the fifth. So that's the only difference that's going on there. And it's the same notes, but it's starting on the F sharp F sharp, uh, G sharp, uh, F sharp, G sharp, uh, let's see, E, G, B, 
B, <laughs> G sharp, and um, and E. And that's it. That's the song. That's it. If you have uh, any more questions, feel free to email me. Thank you for listening.